Hello guys, we're back looking at our 3D print series and we're looking at the results of our Clevis Hitch design which uh, you've seen me set up on chai 2 box in the last video. So, when we're looking at the model here, one of the first things you'll see is uh, this sort of layered uh, shape. That is actually the layers that the uh, 3D printer has deposited as a uh, it, it does each peel so what that means is the printer has lowered the bed the LCD makes a color blacking out all the area that you don't want to be printed and then it shines the UV light through the LCD so the UV only shows on the resin uh, on the clear sections of the LCD which you want to harden and then when it's hardened that section you've specified then at the time it then peels off that layer from the film on the bottom of the little container that holds the, the resin which basically means it lifts the bed off the film just enough to break the, the layer off the film so that the resin will flow in underneath the part that you've already hardened and there will be another layer of liquid resin ready to be hardened with the next uh, shot of UV light. We're looking at the bottom side of the part here so this is the part that was closest to the LCD when the part was finished printed we'll say. So that's why it looks to be quite smooth apart from a few uh, scratches that probably I done after the print was finished. But when we look at the opposite side, so this is the print bed side, we can see a lot of these little pot marks. Well, they are the points at which the uh, support material was touching the model and when I broke away those little legs you got left with these little uh, pop marks where the little legs had been uh, supporting the part. So here's a slightly clearer example. First you have a raft which is like a flat pad that sticks to the print bed and then you have the little struts which connect the piece to the raft. Even though this side has all these little marks on it, it doesn't really matter because this is actually the underside of the part. So when you're orientating your uh, parts using the Chaiyu box, try and get this side that you want the detail on to be the underside during the print. Because that's going to be, well, you want that to be the top side when you've finished your part because it'll have less of these little marks on it. Hopefully you're all enjoying the series so far and if you haven't done so already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and get the bell on so you get notifications. Here you can see the original part on the right and our new part on the left. So the original part was done with the GEE Tech i3 printer, a fused deposition modeling type printer and the part on the left is a bit our anti-cubic photon so that's the UV resin type. So you can see there's a lot more detail in the one on the left and you know you could uh, sand it down a little bit better and get rid of the pot marks, it'd be a little bit better. I thought I'd demonstrate the old and the new uh, Clevis Hitch but it turns out I probably should have demonstrated this or at least tried this uh, before I started designing the part because uh, well now when I actually slow down and take a look at this part did notice a problem with it so for turning angle it's great but you can see here that when you try to lift the lift arms up to the highest position the drawbar is kind of locking out in the clevis hitch you can see the support on the front of the drawbar there is hitting the ground when the, the part is fully lowered and when you lift it it only slightly goes up so you can see if you get the full height from the clevis hitch you have to actually tilt the trailer up. But there's two problems with that. First the support on the front of the straw bar is not very high off the ground so there's more of a chance that you're going to get caught in something but more so the servo isn't getting to its fully upright position so when the servo doesn't get to its fully upright position and you have the control set to raise it to its fully up position. The servo is going to be constantly fighting, trying to lift the full weight of the trailer. So 
that can cause two problems. One, it might result in you damaging the servo, the plastic gears might break, but more likely it's just going to cause your battery to run down very quickly. And I'm about to inadvertently demonstrate that the parts are a little bit more brittle. So clearly we need a bit of a redesign to put a slight angle on a slight downward angle on the clevis hitch so that we're not putting that unnecessary stress on the part and hopefully we'll be able to pull whatever load we want without it breaking. That's a job for another video, so if you like this one make sure and hit the thumbs up button. And as always, thanks very much for watching.